Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. We're chronicling the restoration of my beloved Powers 46 Dreamfinder. I've had Dreamfinder for 14 years, and in that time we've done a lot of work. So she's been re-engined, she's had the uh, hull gel peeled and copper coated. We've had new props uh, due to earth bonding issues. The uh, cabin has been completely refitted and we've sailed her 540 miles from Southampton round to Fleetwood on the Fylde coast in the Irish Sea. Uh, we're now about to tackle the rear deck which is leaking quite badly and uh, refit the rear cabin in preparation for selling Dreamfinder and moving on to buying a sailboat to realise my dream of retiring and sailing in the Mediterranean. So I hope you enjoy the uh, the channel, and um, yeah, please, uh, if you like it, subscribe. Thank you. So, hi guys. Uh, this is a special video this time around because uh, I wanted to put something together about our journey round from uh, Southampton to Fleetwood. Uh, Dreamfinder is booked to come out of the water now, and it's going to be a couple of weeks. So I've got some uh, some paid work, which is quite nice to have at the moment. Uh, so it's going to be a little while before I can get back on board and do any work on her. So I thought it would be a good idea if I just chronicle our journey round. So this is uh, this is the first part of that, and I hope you enjoy it. Before we can uh, set off on our journey from Southampton to Fleetwood. Uh, we thought it would be a good idea to uh, to get the boat checked out first so um, we had to lift it out of the water and uh, we did the deep sea seals we also did the cutlass bearings although the starboard cutlass bearing was a bit of a problem we had to do that in Fleetwood um, we did the fuel filters uh, the fuel pumps were refurbished and um, then uh, we put her back in the water ready to set off to Fleetwood so uh, as you can see she's a little bit dirty so uh, there was a bit of cleaning to do first uh, mops brushes vacuums etc and uh, then once we were happy that everything was sorted and we were ready we collected the dogs uh, so Aliona and uh, Truffle and uh, we also collected Shamba the cat and we set off so our first port of call was down Southampton Water to Port Hamble, where we fueled up, ready to make our first leg of the journey, which was from Southampton across to Solcombe, a journey of 114 nautical miles. The weather was good, uh, it's a variable southeast 3 or 4. Southampton's been our home for uh, about 10 years, so we were sorry to see it go really, but um, yeah, it was nice, uh, a final sail down the uh, Southampton water and into the Solent. Uh, we passed um, Livington and our favourite spot, Newtown Creek. Uh, and then uh, the weather started to brighten as we passed the Needles and the Isle of Wight. Uh, that's quite a choppy area around there, but uh, it was really quite calm, it was pleasant. So we had quite a nice journey out into the, uh, the bay.
ask the question again. How's your adventure? Not finished. Huh? Not finished. Ah. <laughs> Get my eyes out. <laughs> oh, tra. Oh, safe arrival. Hey. Why are you filming me? Thumbs up. So, the end of day one sees us in Salkham Harbour, a beautiful, beautiful spot, somewhere I'd like to spend a lot more time. Unfortunately, time is something that's against us, so we've come from, uh, from Southampton to Salkham Harbour, and now we're starting to look at the next leg of our journey, which is on to Falmouth. So Salcombe to Falmouth isn't actually quite a long journey. We set off at 9 o'clock in the morning to hit the tide. We were into uh, the Falmouth in, on the Prince of Wales Pier by 1 o'clock in the afternoon, a total journey of about 48 miles. Uh, it took us about four hours to do that. Um, when, when we are in Falmouth, we uh, stopped at, on provisions uh, and we also refuelled. Now, um, we, we put 1,024 litres of fuel in at this point, um, having done um, a top up at, uh, at Port Hamble uh, and the main reason for that is because now the fuel pumps have been refurbished we, I didn't quite realise just how much you would use and I was quite enjoying the extra speed but uh, it was drinking fuel so uh, for the rest of the journey we, we sort of settled back down to more normal cruising speeds after this Okay guys, so that's it for another uh, another video. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and uh, click the subscribe button below. Thanks very much and I'll see you next time.